Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this one we're going to do uh, a, a component for a rosette, a little rope design. Now I have a piece of three ply, a strip, the width of the height of the uh, ring that I want to make and I put it on the table with a support, a box with a clamp there just to give me an angle that I want that to be at. I'm going to take another ply, this is about, I've shaved off one of the plies to get two millimetres, put that down, then another ply on top of that, and I'm going to clamp it back about four or so inches out until I think the tension is right because I'm going to be able to get a saw blade, either this Japanese pull saw or a or a, what's it, a hacksaw blade, put it between the two boards so that I can now cut a sliver like this. Now I have a couple of uh, of wood shavings here with the curl facing down so that when I pick it up it's going to go around like that the tension and I put them down like that. Now the sliver this that I have cut uh, the ply actually runs uh, across this direction but I'm going to put glue along the bottom face here so that it will go down face wise making those plies stand up. Take this uh, with that face, put it down, and then push it into right in, in there. And then put a clamp on every so often. And with some sandpaper, I'm just going to sand that flat. And then I'm going to glue with some PVA on there and glue a and glue a wood shaving onto that. And before that dries, I'm going to now carefully wrap that around my mold. Then I'm going to get some string and anchor it off on a screw or nail or something and then wind it around to clamp that all nice and tightly together. And go around and around and around with string until it's nice and tight and smooth. Let that dry. And when it's dry, that should keep its form in a circle there and you'll find the plies will all be aligned fairly reasonably. I'm going to take another uh, wood shaving and uh, put that on the top of the moulded piece. So now, just to take advantage of the, of the full ring, to make various rings at all in one go. Similarly, I'm going to put the string around to clamp it flat.
and let that dry. Now I've uh, stuck an extra ring on this one just uh, for looks and there is the thing and now we're going to cut the rings off. Same setup as before, two pieces applied to thickness with a saw blade between that and now I'm going to then slice off two millimetre So there we have the a two millimeter level with the pattern nicely there. Now I've got four of those out of the dark ring, which means I've got another four with the lighter one. So that's eight, more or less, for that amount of work. Now you can incorporate it into another design.